Alright, so this is the second time I'm going to try and do this video. Uh, my dog was barking in the last one because he was outside. So, this is take two. Uh, this is something I wanted to do for the new year because people will, because, sorry, people will be traveling to new places hopefully. Um, and hopefully among those places will be some of our national parks, which are some of the greatest places you can go and travel to. And one of the ways that you can remember and have a sort of memento, memento, sorry, from, is by getting a national park passport by Eastern National. Uh, these retail for about fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on where you get. Usually, you pick one up at a national park visitor center. Um, I haven't been able to find them online except for used, which. Uh, why would you want someone else's memories? I don't understand that. So, getting into it, they started this back in 1986 uh, as a way for you to store cancellations as well as they have a thing you'll see in a minute which is called the National Park Stamp Series which is a collectible sticker stamp that you put above your cancellations. Uh, but getting into it, we'll do this one since it's on top. You can see it's got a nice cover. Um, this is in the national park, but some place I went was the House of Seven Gables. Um, I just put random stickers and stuff on the outside. Just something I do. Some of them are actual. You'll see in a minute what they're from. But getting into it, inside your cover, passport belongs to. You got a nice space where you can put a picture of yourself uh, you've got a nice table of contents you've got park abbreviations key which is on the back cover as well as uh, all the relevant information can be found uh, at eparks.com so each one of these comes with a national parks system map which is something I'm not going to pull out but it's in this little plastic sleeve and it just shows all of our national parks within the continental U.S., Alaska, and Hawaii. Um, it's got a nice title page, or cover page right there. And then it gets into a little thing about our national parks, how to use your passport book, and then something about the national passport stamp series, uh, which you can see on the back of this one. They all come with this right here. Uh, I just stick those in the back because they don't really have a place to go, but I wanted to keep them anyways. Um, but something you should know, all proceeds do go to the National Park System. So that is definitely a good thing that it's not going to uh, some company. Uh, all the proceeds go to the National Parks. But they break up this passport into different regions that are all color-coded. And if you can see down the spine, or down the open part of the book, um, you can see two of them right here. Uh, it's easier if you look at it this way. You can see going down that they're broken up into different colors by region, um, which is really helpful. Uh, they have also what's called the national stamp, which is just a stamp that's selected as a national uh, stamp for the year just something they make it a bigger uh, stamp than the rest so we'll go into the stamps now as well as the cancellations I'll break open this other book because I actually have one I've been to um, so something you can see sorry let me go into it this is an actual cancellation uh, it says petrified national forest up top petrified forest Arizona the date I went there was July 10th, 2008. And then this is the national stamp that comes in the stamp packs, uh, which is larger than the rest that I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But basically, it's got a nice big picture right there, a little bit about the park. And then you can see I've got more of them. These ones I haven't been to, but I got these stamp packs uh, if you can see, this one's from 
2002, this one's 2007, uh, this one's 2006, but it's got definitely a lot of different ones. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to count for a second. One, two, three, four, five, five national stamp spots. And then you can see this gets into the first region is your national or your North Atlantic region. Sorry. Um, here it has a listing of all the states as well as each national park within the state. Uh, some relevant information about the uh, biggest national parks or the most notable, I should say. Um, so again, another one I've been to that I actually have the stamp for is from 2006. It's a North Atlantic Regional Stamp. Um, sorry. I actually do have the stamp. It's somewhere else, though. Um, but the actual cancellation is in this book, uh, which is the Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historic Park, July 4th, 2006. 2006. Sorry, can't speak today. Uh, Woodstock, Vermont. Um, but you can see it's definitely got a, a lot of room if you space them out a bit better. I just like having uh, something a bit better uh, of a system uh, where I put the stamp up top, the uh, collectible stamp up top, and then I put my cancellation down the bottom. I like having it corresponding. Um, to it, but I don't think I had this, the right book. I left this book, or one of the other books that actually had the actual stamp at home, and I had to purchase another one. Um, but you can see, it's got a decent amount of spaces, as well as see, I had it right here. <laughs> I didn't put it in the right one. That's what it was. This was 2014, and I went there in 2006. That's why. Um, some of them they aren't out yet they just haven't gotten their stamp yet uh, it's just something that the park service picks out uh, you can see this one I got this year Springfield National Historic Site April 5th 2014 so I have to do that if I forget it um, I know I have the collectible stamp for this one so I'll just cut it out tape it in at some point but then it goes, you know, your mid Middle Atlantic states. Um, another one where I forgot it and I have to cut out. This one is the Gloria Del Church National Historic Site, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2007. But I just find that this is a really great way that you can not only go through and have the nice pictures and collectible stamps but it's a nice place where you can put this is the exact day I was there and this is what it looks like this is what it's about kind of a thing um, it's just something I really like um, something else I can show you I don't know if I did earlier in the beginning again is it's got this nice little plastic sleeve looking in the wrong one but I have a ticket stub you know you can just put you can just put all different types of stuff in here um, it's just a really cool thing Let's see. journey through hallowed ground it's Gettysburg National Park I have been there a lot I've been there about four times because I had family fight there for the Union so uh, it's that's a great great place to go if you guys have never been there. I love Gettysburg. It's awesome. Um, but anyways, that's just a little bit about the Eastern National Passport books to our national parks, which is, again, just a great way you guys can not only have memories, uh, but a nice way to keep them. That's a nice way to flip through them. Uh, it's just something I really enjoy, and I thought you guys might too. So, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, definitely pick one of these up. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, 
if you guys want to know the different places I've been to, I can certainly uh, make a list for, them, for you and put them somewhere like Google Plus or something. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Have a great day, guys.